Okay, so we are recording. So hi, I am here with one of my amazing previous clients, April, and we're going to talk about our work together and kind of where she was at and where she got to. So she came to me, she was broken up with her boyfriend. They ended up getting back together during our time together. She just got all this femininity and feminine energy flowing and she navigated relationship challenges and attachment triggers and now she's at the place where her and her boyfriend are moving in together he is moving across the country to be with her so she has quite a story um, so thank you so much for being here and being willing to just be an example for other women who are maybe struggling in relationships and with dating patterns of you know what's possible and, and where someone could get in really a relatively short amount of time. <laughs> so I'd like to start just by getting a little information about you. So the women who are listening can, you know, they'll probably relate. So could you share your age, where you live and what you do for work? Yes, so I live in Scottsdale, Arizona. I'm 29 um, and I'm a hairstylist and I own a salon. Yeah, you can see your gorgeous hair right now. <laughs> <laughs> so I want to start with what was going on before and around the time that you decided to work with me. What were the challenges and the things that you came, you know, that you were dealing with and knew that you wanted to work on when you reached out to me? Yeah, so I knew that I had like relationship um, blockages or like issues and the way that I like perceived them. Um, and I also knew what you're just talking about really wasn't fully in my feminine. So I really tried to take on like both roles. And I found when like you're attracting a masculine man, like that doesn't work and it creates like a lot of conflict. Um, and so I really didn't know how to navigate the waters of just like, how do I like let go of that and just like be vulnerable and actually like communicate and like speak up for myself. Um, I knew I had a lot of issues in that. And with someone that you really want to be with, I was like, I don't want to see them walk away because I can't just communicate correctly. Yeah. And, and you guys were broken up when we started. Right. And I'm not sure that were you wanting to get back together with him? Like, I don't not think so. Right. <laughs> I like was, you thought that I was done. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like you had Apple, I picked it wrong again. And then um, honestly, just doing like self work and then like implementing it, I was like, mm, maybe not. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And we'll, and we'll get into that because I'd love for you to just share a little bit about the journey of like what happened during the course of our time together. And, you know, what were the biggest shifts that happened? What were the kind of big breakthrough moments for you? Um, just tell us a little bit about what happened. Yeah, I feel like I definitely didn't have like a regulated nervous system at all in the sense that when I was triggered, like I would just, for me personally, be like, push everybody away. It was easier to do that. I was super avoidant. So I'd be like, okay, that's it. I'm done. Um, and the biggest thing for me was learning how to like find ease inside myself um, to go through like the places inside my mind that like help, like help kept me stuck and actually like deal with them so that like when things happen in life, I don't feel like I'm always on fight or flight. I can actually just deal with them as like a normal person, um, which just has brought me a lot of ease. Um, I also think too, understanding how men are more and not expecting them to be how you are as like a woman as like they're a hundred percent like almost a different species like and so learning that like helped me so much understand like certain dynamics um and be like oh, okay that makes more sense so yeah I think my biggest breakthroughs honestly were just honestly finding ease inside myself and then understanding that men are much different than women and that's how it's supposed to be and you want it to be that way and allowing that to be yeah. And what would you say, because I do remember there was a point at towards the end where you're like, I, I feel like I've actually embodied my feminine energy. And like, what was the journey for you for getting there? Honestly, I feel like showing up for myself, like every week with you, honestly, was 
And when you would tell me things, like I knew you were telling me for my best interests. And so I'd be like, shit, okay. And then I would go and actually practice the things you told me, like the homework you gave me, like I would do. And I feel like through a series of just like our months together, it was like a combination of just like putting that in practice day after day after day and integrating it. That it, like literally it felt like one day when I was just like talking to him, I was just like, I think I can do this. Like in the sense of like my shield like went down and I did feel just like this feminine essence of just, I can be vulnerable. I can communicate correctly of like what I want. And something you told me to you when you were like, you have to trust him and believe in the man that you like know him to be. Cause if you don't do that, then he can't be that man for you. And when I did that too, like I just noticed a shift in him as well. And it allowed me to like step back and like sit back and be a bit more relaxed into being like, okay, I can just be a woman. I don't need to like have all the cards on the table in the sense of like, I'm doing everything like, and allow him to like have his role as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I was going to ask you, cause I, I know during our time together, you did get back together with him and I'd love to hear a little bit more and for people who are listening, like what, what happened? What was the path to getting there? Um, <laughs> I'm like, let me honestly, uh, communicating, like genuinely commu like clear communication, not like being avoidant or not saying what's on my mind or not honestly to addressing the situations in a relationship that are harder to address and just like making myself be like, okay, well, if I have these questions instead of like spiraling in my head about this is what he could be thinking and this is what could be happening. Me just being like, okay, so hi, um, <laughs> have this question or have this concern or have this feeling um, and having like clear communication on that. And I feel like it made everything cake when we like started like talking together again and everything just like kind of flowed after that. Yeah. And I'm curious, what is different about how things are now versus how they were before coaching when, when you were in relationship? I feel like I can have a life in a relationship in the sense that because I can communicate clearly, I'm not playing scenarios in my head all day long when things happen or trying to almost guess what he's going to say throughout the day before he even says it. Like, I just feel like I can say something, wait for a response. And I'm not thinking about it constantly. Um, I also feel like there isn't like any, like, should I call him? Should I not call him? Like, there's none of like that. It's just like, feels easy. Mm -hmm. Um, in the sense that like, when you want to like talk, you can talk. Um, and I just feel like, like I said, on like his end, just because I've like kind of settled into my body and like, I feel like I'm more, way more, way more feminine. Um, I just feel him making a lot more plans, making a lot more like decisions, which feels good on my end. Um, so yeah. Yeah. And I'd love to know, you know, like what role would you say that our coaching had to play in all of these changes and things that you've seen and, and done differently? All of them. <laughs> my life like change that because even outside of like our like my relationship with my boyfriend I just hired someone and my relationship with her I can tell is just so much easier my relationship with my family is easier just understanding deeper on who I am and being able to like have the skills I have now like a lot for me was communication obviously I keep saying that it's just made my life much easier um and made me a lot more relaxed inside of like my body and I can wake up and like have a routine and honestly a lot of the things that you told me like when I'm in moments of like obviously maybe I'm like triggered or something just remembering those and like implementing them so now I have like I feel like this like little toolbox of like skills that I can be like okay I'm gonna need this one today <laughs> or I'm gonna need this right now or I need to remember this and so that's like truly helpful um just as like since our like um, program together has been like done being able to have those things now to be able to like implement and continue to implement them just to keep growing yeah yeah and you know a lot of women ask me you know like I've done therapy or I've, I've done other types of personal development like what's different about what I would get from this and I know you've done therapy you've done other personal development like what would you say is different about what we do versus the other things that you've done um, one, I think this is like what you're meant to do genuinely. Right. So also like your energy, like it's, you just have that to like be doing what you're doing <laughs> Two, 
too, on top of that, it's the inner work, like the deep inner work of like when we do somatics and like go inside your mind and really unravel and figure that out. Because I feel like once you find the root of it in that week, when you give the homework, it also just like trickles in your brain, right? Like you're like remembering these things and you're like, oh, this makes so much more sense. And I think that's where the ease comes from. You don't feel like a crazy person. You don't feel like you can never get past this block. It's like you understand where it came from and now you can truly release it. And I feel like it's much different than therapy in the sense that like the skills that you're giving are, I want to say more useful, but like more useful for day to day to be able to use them and actually move past things rather than maybe just sit and talk about them. Like I felt like I actually got things to carry forward. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that, that's always my goal. So I'm I'm always happy to hear that, but I know that you do because that's literally (laughs) what I'm trying to do. So I'm also curious, you know, what was your thought process that helped you make the decision to say yes to, you know, working with me? I know that you were a little nervous and you had a bit of a freak out afterwards and, and like, it is scary to do something like this. And you, you're like, I don't even know what's going to happen. What's going to get uncovered? Like what's going to come up? It can be like scary. So what was your thought process that had you, you know, make the decision to sign up for coaching and, you know, um, <laughs> and I was crying on my couch <laughs> single and honestly I went on Instagram and your thing just like came up on my feed and I was like somatics and trauma what and like I was like in relationships this is crazy so like I like clicked on you signed up for it yes I freaked out the next day I was like I'm not I'm not showing up like I'm not and then I was like you will show up for yourself just try it out like just see what she has to say so I did And I was like bawling my eyes out for the week before we ever talked, like every single day. It was like the final decision I knew I needed to make for myself in like self-development, like the point that I had just avoided for as long as I could. Um, And then talking to you, like, honestly, it's just like you, like your energy, like you bring ease, like in certain like naturopath or herbalist I've had, there's like people you just connect to and you just know they're meant to be doing what they're doing and you know, they're going to help you. And like, I just feel like genuinely that was what it was for me was it was just like an even more than anything you said it was just like I don't know I'm like meeting you I was like oh okay like it was just like a knowing for me like she's gonna be the girl to help me so I'm gonna say yes even though I'm terrified and it worked out perfectly (laughs) yeah and it's funny too because I remember you emailed me and you're like I'm freaking out it's a really good thing we're doing this because clearly I need it but like I feel like when we actually started like there was a little bit in the beginning because it you know, there's sometimes there's stuff that we uncover and it's like, wow, that was there. But I I feel like you had actually like the biggest resistance I think came up in you before we even started. (laughs) A hundred. I think, yeah. Cause even I would like cry on some of our beginning sessions, which really phased out quite fast. I was kind of surprised. Like Mm -hmm. Uh, it wasn't me resisting. It was just actually me allowing myself to feel the things that I did not ever allow myself to feel. Um, so yeah, I think definitely before we ever started was like the hardest part for me was before the work even began. It was making the decision to be like, I'm going to look myself in the face and like really own whatever I need to, to like move to the next part of my life. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. It's not uncommon. It can bring up some stuff. Um, so (laughs) that makes sense. Um, so what I'd love to just have you share right now is, you know, like if, if women are are sitting here and and they're like, okay, like this sounds great. Like I'm ready for this. I really want this. I want that transformation on the other end. You know, why would you recommend that somebody, you know, reach out to me, (laughs) get in one of my programs? Um, okay. Several reasons. I feel like for one, for yourself, like in the sense of like, who wants to live, no matter like, like what your attachment styles are or whatever, like if you can move past that, why would you not want to? It's like, like I keep using this word, but it's like feeling such a presence of ease inside your own body, which is just like so nice to have, like to wake up and be like, okay, situations like are going to happen, but I'm able to face them and it's going to like be okay to like, I'm in love and I like love my person. And I would have been so sad if I thought all of these things in my mind that were, ch- I want to say untrue, but <laughs> not true. Um, if I would have never moved past that, like I wouldn't be with him. He wouldn't be moving across the country to be with me. And like, 
who knows if I would have ever found someone that I connected to as well as I connect with him. Um, so yeah, like don't pass up on like maybe your person and like your timing just because of your own self. Like don't let yourself get in your own way. And it's a lot scarier. Like what I just said, it's a lot scary thinking about it than actually doing it. It's very relieving as you're doing it. So if you're like scared and thinking like, holy shit, there's no way I could face myself. You definitely can a hundred percent can tell you avoided it for a long time. And like, no matter how like deep it is and how far back it goes, I feel like once you start processing it, it's, it's actually way more relieving than thinking about processing it. Doing the work is much easier than just thinking about it. Yeah. Yeah. Like with pretty much anything, the thinking about it is, is usually the scariest part. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, is there anything else that you want to say right now? Otherwise we will we'll wrap up. Um, yeah, just thank you. Yeah. Thank you for giving me all those things. Like I genuinely appreciate it. Oh, you're so welcome. And, and thank you for being here and again, being vulnerable and sharing your experience and, and your journey with, with this work. So I'm so excited to hear all the things that happen for you and your boyfriend, like so many exciting things in the next couple of days, actually. <laughs> I, I'm so excited. Yeah. Yeah. So thank you so much.